Hello everyone and welcome to week 9 of me making my own animated film. For anyone who saw my last video, you probably saw me draw a self-portrait. And here's why! <laughs> Sometimes I am struggling to get enough footage for these videos, so I thought, hell, I'll go the PNG tuber route and just create some of these and see if it works. <laughs> so <laughs> let me know what you guys think. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know how it's like to edit that stuff, but we'll see, we'll see. Moving on, uh, this week I've actually started doing roughs for my film. Everything I've done all these weeks leading up to now has pretty much been in preparation of, of this. <laughs> and we're finally here, and I've had a lot of fun this week, and I've learned a lot, not only about animation in general, but just the program Adobe uh, Animate that I'm using. I don't think I need to explain what uh, rough animation is to you guys, but uh, I'll do it anyways, just in case, you know, gotta be thorough here. <laughs> Roughs or rough animation is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a very rough and loose sketch of what you want your animation to look like. So, you know, you got your storyboard, you have the ideas in your head, you have all the sketches and all this work that you've done to come to this point. You pretty much have everything laid out, but you actually don't know if everything's going to work out completely yet. So you rough it out, see if it works, and if it does, great. Then you move on to the next step. Uh, I've done about four shots uh, this week in between, you know, me having to work part time at the same time and all this stuff. But I'm very satisfied with that number. It doesn't look like a lot on paper, but it's it takes a really long time. <laughs> So how I'll start working on a shot is that I first import my stage, which is, you know, background, foreground, all that painted goodness. And I layer them up in the order that I want them to be. Then I also import my reference materials, which could either be, um, you know, my animatic or reference video that I've taken my of myself doing the action, which is great. After I get all of my layers organized in a proper way, um, I just get to drawing, really. So this week I've been animating in two different ways. So the first way is just purely animating out of, directly out of my head. <laughs> like my animatic reference has been good enough for me to just use that and animate over it. This is what I find the most fun. Um, but I've also actually done some rotoscoping. Uh, if you don't know what rotoscoping is, it's an animation technique where you have live footage and you trace directly over it. It's a really fun and great animation technique that's been used for ages. A famous example of this technique being used is uh, if you have a look at AHA's music video for Take On Me. It's a great looking music video and it's they've really, you know, gotten a cool effect by using rotoscoping. I wasn't originally planning on using rotoscoping, but I have this specific scene where I want my main character to be writing and you have like a close up and you actually see what she's writing and um, I tried animating that by just like from my head and it <laughs> looked funny. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I could have done it, but uh, since this is my first film and I'm already having so much th stuff to do uh, all by myself, I thought I'd give myself a little bit of a break and also give myself the chance to learn rotoscoping because it's a lot of fun. And so I've decided that I'm going to use rotoscoping for very complicated and technical movements like, for example, a handwriting where you have these tiny nuances of movement that's very hard to do. Something I found very interesting was that I actually thought, you know, rotoscoping would take a lot less time since you have all the video there, you can just trace over it, it's all ready to go. I thought it would go faster to do that technique than just regular animation, but it, at least in my case, uh, and maybe it's just what I'm working with here, the, the writing hand, it took way longer than the other scenes where I classically just animated. Um, very interesting. 
when it came to the rest of the animation, uh, you know, even though I've only done four shots so far, um, I've had a lot of fun this week. Like, I really, really enjoy animating and I'm really excited for next week to continue on this. And I'm thinking since this step in the project is probably going to take a while, I'm going to use these weeks to do deep dives into what I'm doing, techniques, things I've learned, problems I've had. I'll probably also do another Q&A. If you have any questions at all, leave them below. I'll try to answer them as good as I can. And yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here with me on this journey. Follow me on my socials if you want more updates. I update there more regularly than I do here. Um, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.